What's up guys, Zach here. I'm going to bring you guys Gold Setting 101. I'm going to teach you guys how to be a goalie. In this episode, we're going to learn how to deal with the cross crease. Now, what I find the best way to stop a cross crease is just watch this player here. He's coming, cross creases it, boom. I just follow the puck. Now I'm back in good position, shot, save. Alright, so they have the puck on the right wing. I need to keep my chest squared with the puck. Keep the cross, save. I'm in good position. Alright. Palmville's coming down the wing. I square up to the puck. Cross crease. Save. And then they have it back. You need to get squared up again. Shot. Save. The key is to keep your chest squared up with the puck. You want to be in position all the time. Another cross. Save. Rebound. I mean, good position. That's the whole key. Position. Another cross. Another save. These aren't the hardest cross creases to deal with. Harder over ones are like two on ones, two on ones, stuff like that. But just like that. Cross crease. Save. They're coming down on the wing, cross crease, slapper, save, rebound, get the puck. Alright, one more time, Poundville is coming down on the right wing, he has it, cross crease hit the Roy, save. The second best way to stop the cross crease is to do a left trigger, right trigger. You cross the puck, right trigger, left trigger, hug the post, save. This isn't the best way I find scoring up the puck works better, as you can see, cross crease, save. Watch what happens when... They don't shoot it right at the post. See cross crease of the post. Oh, they scored. See the half of the net, or more than half, is just wide open. So you're completely out of position. See, wide open, score. It's also very dangerous if the puck hits a defender or something like that. And it bounces out to a ramp position. He hits the defender, where's the puck? Oh, we can't find it. Panic, score. Very difficult to stop. Alright, the final way is to be like an idiot and just stack the pads right now. I don't do this at all unless you're trying to look good, like Marty Badu or something like that, or your team's up by a lot or down by a lot, or you're just playing fun. So you're in no position for a rebound. You're out, totally out of the play. You can't do anything. It just you're just being an idiot, pretty much. You cross crease. You you have no chance really. So just, the best way, to remember this, is to just keep following the puck. Don't be an idiot like that and just stack the pads. Best way, watch right here. Follow the puck. Just keep just squirt the puck. Save. Alright guys, thanks for watching this episode of Gold Sending 101. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.